welcome. It's National Relay Weekend. It is so exciting to be all together covering all the time zones in the U.S. by those of us right here leading you tonight. And we're helping our global community celebrate together. That's right, Sarah Lynn. We have some incredible activities and experiences planned for the next 24 hours to virtually emulate that signature weekend experience where everyone comes together to do something relay at the same time from wherever they are. I'm Steve Bell coming to you from San Clemente, California. And I serve as part of the leadership team of the Global Heroes of Hope program. I'm a member of the Global Relay for Life social media team and was the 2019-2020 US Global Hero of Hope. I'm going to pitch it to my other co-hosts now and let them introduce themselves real quick. Hello, Relayers. I'm Thelma Sasson here in Fresco, Texas, and a 21-year cancer survivor. I first got involved with Relay for Life in 2002 after I asked our manager's permission to form a relay team for our company. He said yes, and our partnership with the American Cancer Society began with just one team in Dallas, the Spirit of Delta. A few years later, we traveled to Japan to support our first global team in Tokyo. The rest is history. So wait a minute, Thelma. You're telling me you were a cancer survivor, you had just finished treatment, and you were looking for a way to fight back, so you just asked a question? That's right, Sarah Lynn. At our first relay, the survivor lab made such a huge impact on me. Therefore, I found hope there when I met other cancer survivors for the first time. So I wanted to share this experience with my friends and family. Upon returning to work, I asked if I can start our own team. So I said, what if? I went ahead and asked that question and this incredible partnership began. No would have been the worst situation, the worst answer, but that's not what I received. Instead, Delta Airlines became a partner with the American Cancer Society. As of 2019, we raised more than $17 million. Due to the nature of our business, we realized that a great number of our employees will not be able to go and attend a real life event. So we brought Relay to the airport and to our corporate office in Atlanta. We now have over 100 airports around the world participating in an airport relay for life event we call a day. We became creative with our fundraiser too. One was a jet pool. Team, teams of 15 would raise $1,500 each for a chance to pull a 757 jet. This became our biggest fundraiser as teams compete for bragging rights each year. We also sell Delta in Relay merchandise in our corporate shop, and an online worldwide auction is another moneymaker for us. Delta is so dedicated to its partnership with the American Cancer Society that it even painted a Relay logo on one of its aircraft. Looking back, I have to say, I am so glad I asked. Thelma, we're all so glad you asked. That's incredible. And that's just one reason why you inspire me so much. My name is Sarah Lynn Lash and I live in Worcester, Ohio. And my goal as a volunteer is to make Relay for Life the place to be. And also to make a world where my sweet nieces will never have to hear the words, you have cancer. Just last month, I stepped into a new role as the nationwide volunteer lead for Relay for Life. And I'm excited to be here tonight with my co-host to help us celebrate and dream and look at what can happen when relayers come together to make the impossible possible. Recently, friends that are also relay pioneers got together to talk about some of the history of relay and the 30 year old dream of a signature relay weekend. We're just going to hear a part of their conversation tonight. But if you're interested in the full video, it's already posted on the Relay for Life YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Mark Flynn. I'm the event lead for Relay for Life of Tacoma and Pat Flynn's son. I'm here speaking with my friend, Felicia Wilson. So yes, I'm going to give a, a brief history of, of uh, where Relay started, and you can chime in anytime, Felicia. But as most of you know, in 1985, Dr. Klatt wanted to raise some money for the American Cancer Society, so he walked around UPS, uh, University of Puget Sound, 
uh, track here in Tacoma, Washington for 24 hours. It was, he made the news, he made 60 minutes, he made everything. And he raised over $27,000 and walked over 80 miles. And believe it or not, Pat Flynn missed that event. She got there after the gates were locked and she got to watch it through a locked gate. And so she was there the next day and Dr. Cloud asked her if, if at some point, if, if she would help make this into something big. So they formed a committee and we moved the event to, or they moved the event to Stadium Bowl. And uh, it grew and grew and grew. And my recollection was my brother and I were just support staff. We just, we weren't even official. We just carried all the boxes and boxes of t-shirts <laughs> and little ditty bags down to Stadium Bowl. And if you've ever seen a picture, it's quite a trek to get down to the bottom of that bowl. And then it just got enormous. I remember Pat traveling around the country meeting Felicia and coming back and telling stories. And then um, we eventually formed a Flynn family team and now it's just everywhere. So some of the first conversations about dreams and visions, that, that's probably out of my league. Felicia, you want to speak to that? One of the things we were talking about was Signature Weekend and Relay started getting really big and coming across the country. And Gordy um, became a member of the Board of Directors of American Cancer Society. And um, the Board of Directors... Um, decided that uh, it was going to be the signature event. Uh, and then we started talking about signature weekend. We wanted to have relay the same weekend <laughs> all over the country. And we would go all over, we'd promote it. And, and they'd say, but it was freezing cold here. And you say, yeah, but you can have it outside, you know. And, and then we began to see all the reasons why you couldn't have it on the same weekend. We just thought it would really, you know, make it um, more marketable and more popular, but um, it didn't happen, but it didn't need to happen, look how it grew. The, the first year I was the event lead for Relay for Life from Tacoma, Pat was in the hospital for about a month. And so it was the first, the second relay she had ever missed. And she called me a number of times. And it was, it was details. It was, it was the, whatever it was, it was like, are you kidding me? You're, just to make sure that I didn't forget this or that, or it's time to reverse the direction and go the other way on the track. It was, it was really funny. Right, yeah. Well, for the people who are watching don't know this, um, Mark was absolutely an amazing son to his mother. Um, we used to have a lot of meetings across the country, and, and they were important to Pat. It was important to her to be there, and it was important for the people who were attending for Pat to be there. And she was she was their queen, you know, and, and um, Mark made sure that she got there. He took all her dialysis stuff and carried it and the airplane to the, from the car from the house to the car to the airplane to the, to the hotel and was always there for her and um she wouldn't have been able to do it if it had been for him so he, he's he's this the son of the century as far as i'm concerned well thank you uh, it was an honor and forgive me here thank you felicia for that so what is it that makes relay relay for life special i'm going to read something that pat said it's giving us a way to fight back. We can see and do. Average people can do this. Gordy Klatt said, one person really can make a difference. 2020 was an interesting year for all of us. But you know what? Relayers did what relayers do. You showed up. You pivoted. You were resilient and remarkably created and raised $66,700,000. That's what funding the future looks like in making a world where we can ex be extending education, serving where we can, and ultimately saving more lives. Our mission, our goal, and our focus is to make the impossible possible. You are gonna be overwhelmed with all there is to do in the next 24 hours. There are mission moments, interviews, TikTok dance parties, games, and theme laps. And even the signature events that are important to any Relay for Life event, like a survivor and caregiver celebration, an Illuminaria and a fight back ceremony. Many of us haven't relayed together in over a year. So tonight, we wanna take these steps together to make a greater impact. While the track tonight might look like the sidewalk in front of your home or the field in your backyard, let's do this together. Let's hold hands across the globe and let's relay together for the next 24 hours. I'm in, Sterling, and I'm ready. 
So how can you participate? Well, here's a few ways. One, you can stay here on the American Cancer Society Relay for Life Facebook page. New posts will come in with more information and new challenges. You can participate in the conversation in the Relay for Life community group on Facebook. You can interact with posts on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can also download the app and complete the challenges. You can find it by searching National Relay Weekend in the Apple and Android App Store. You can check out the full schedule of activities on relayforlife.org forward slash Relay Weekend. And if all that seems just too overwhelming, just plan something special where you are, you are and participate in as much as you are able to. And to finish our segment, here's our challenge to you. In the comments on this post, we want you to dream with us. What feels impossible, but you still want to do this year? What question are you going to ask that can pivot your local community and make a lasting impact for the American Cancer Society? 